So let's say that I want to produce a form on a Word document. So what I would do, I would send this Word document to everyone I wanted this form to be filled in by. In this case, it's a survey on favourite food types that I'm trying to do. One problem with just sending this document out to everyone is that they could change it. They could, uh, if they didn't like one of these questions, they could just click on it and delete that one and carry on. So what I want to do, I want to protect this document. So certain things can't be changed and only the areas that I want them to change, for example here, can be changed. The features that we use on Word to do this is protection and content controls. Firstly, up here on the tabs on the ribbon, on the ribbon interface, we are missing one that we actually need. So what we do, we right click on one of the words, I'm going to click on view, and I'm going to customize the ribbon. And now the one thing we're missing is the developer control. So tick that box and press OK and now we've got a developer tab. Click on that and now we are in controls here, that's what I want. Tick, press the design mode section, I'm going to delete that. So firstly, for first name I want this just to be a text control and so I click on here and I want it just to be plain, so I put a plain text control in there. There we go, done. Exactly the same for surname. Press that and plain text control. Date of birth is slightly different because I don't want them to type in text, I want them to, to enter a date. So on here somewhere is a calendar control, a date picker. Here it is, that one there. Click on that and now they can click on there. If we take it off design mode to view, see what it will look like in practice, they can click on that and they can find their calendar. Put it back on design mode, location of current residence, uh, that can just be normal text again. What is your favourite food type? Now in this case, um, food types, there's quite a few, so let me just type some in. So now I've got four food types, and I want my, and I want the people filling this in to put a tick next to the one that they like. So all I do, on cake, I select one of these, and I'm going to put the tick box there. And another one there, another one there, and finally, another one there. And finally, do you li like le do you like to mix main course and desserts? So if this question, I want them to select yes or no, but they can't select both. Whereas on this option, they can select as many of these as they want to. So to do that, I want them to do a drop down list control here. So click on that, and this time, if I right click and press properties, in here I can add some uh, information. So I press add and I'm going to click display name, um, yes. And another one, no. And I'm going to get rid of choose an item. There we go, so then let's put it into the take design mode off and now let's check yes and no. Done. Okay, so that's the form built, but the problem is here, when I send this to people, they will still be able to change the actual questions and we don't want them to do that so what I need to do now is add the protection so to do that you go to review the, re the review tab and click on restrict editing and then we tick this second box here editing restrictions we want it to be ticked and then we need to select what we want to protect in this case filling in forms so now it's going to protect everything else apart from the form elements which are all these little snazzy bits here okay so then what we need to do now we need to press yes start enforcing protection and it's going to ask us for a password because at some point we might want to edit this and change it so typing any old password and there we go it's now protected so I physically cannot change any of the text but I can fill the form in and add bits here that I want to And that's it, that's your form built.